Larry and I found ourselves at a very unusual RV destination. Well, maybe not so unusual in this part of the world. On Highway 90 in Pascagoula, Mississippi, you'll find the Gulf Coast Gator Ranch and Swamp Boat Rides. Come along with us as we find out all about alligators. Hey, you still working. Hey. Well, yeah, and now that we've got that Go Power solar panel, as long as I'm not driving, I can work wherever we are. Yeah, pretty and, much and we anytime, are, anywhere. And we are at the Gator Ranch, though. Well, okay. we're supposed to go out for a boat ride soon. Yeah. Ah! Hi, guys. How y'all doing? Good. Uh, y'all ready for your boat ride? Go out there on the swamp and ride them waves? <laughs> All right. Okay, sounds All right, good, guys, Sam. All right. The swamp boat rides, including the walking tour in the back of the building, is $30, or the walking tour alone is $8, according to the website. I was hoping Laurie could get to hold a baby alligator, but they weren't doing it at this time because of COVID restrictions. The reason there are so many gators in their very large pen is this is a gator ranch, and gators are their product. They have six swap boats so you don't have to wait long to get your ride our tour guide was swamp billy sam i'm not cajun i'm swamp billy i come from the, the hills up there in alabama but i've been down here in the swamp for many years this waterway goes all the way through the ranch the ranch is approximately 140 acres i use the french word means big body of water Swamp or fresh water, bayous or brackish and salt water. It was fun. It was cold. We had earplugs in our ears for the noise. And then Sam did something unexpected. We went right for the greenery. Woo! Right through it. Wow, this, these boats can go everywhere. It was a lot of fun. We asked Sam about the effects of Katrina, which happened 15 years ago, just about the time he started working at Gator Ranch. That salt water came up in here it was about six to eight foot above oh. the railroad track. Oh. We're approximately about three miles from the Gulf right here. We're about two miles from brackish water, salt water. So all that salt water came dumping up in here and killed everything. Oh, wow. The birds, the fish, the squirrels, the raccoons, rabbits, everything. There was little doubt that Swamp Billy Sam enjoyed his job. So is alligator meat considered a delicacy? To me it's not. Uh, we eat it like once a week, but if you kill you a nice size gator during gator season, you'll stay at meat, you know, four or five months. How can you tell the difference between a male and a female? Well, alligator? the females never go above nine foot. Real rare to see a female above nine foot. And of course, you run your finger in a cloaca and figure out if it's male or female. So, do the males stay with one female or do they do whatever no, they do? No, the big male up front, big, yeah. big daddy, he's got a harem. You know, and they'll fight for that for that area, and then they'll make their drum. And if the female likes their drum, they might come for four or five miles. They can hear it four or five miles. And if they don't hear it, they feel the vibration. The, the, the tail, you mean? No, when he drums up, he'll lift up his body up out, out of the water and drum. Oh. Makes this drumming noise and it vibrates the water. They can feel it for several miles. I've seen that big bull up there, Big Daddy. I've seen him vibrate water six or eight foot off the water line. I mean, just dripping. And are there certain times of the year that they want to mate? Oh, yeah. It's always the uh, middle of uh, April to the middle of May. This year was late because we had a late spring. They were still trying to mate up into June. But they uh, usually lay around the uh, uh, first of June to middle of June. Well, they didn't lay to late, so they didn't hatch out to late. All alligators hatch out at the same time. So you know that 
throw that one, give that one percent a chance to make it, like sea turtles on the okay. beach. All right, yeah, yeah. So if, if you drop somebody in the middle of this and they had to make their way to shore, would they be okay? Yeah. Aquacam toss-ins. So fast and easy to use, it could seem like a game. Someone once said, the camping doesn't really start until the RV awning comes out. Whoever said that really knew what they were talking about. Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. For more information, visit our website at carefreeofcolorado.com. Yeah, uh, alligators are not like crocodiles. They're not man-eaters. They're naturally afraid of men. And one of the reasons is that we've been eating them for 700 years. Did the alligators hibernate in the cold? They go down in the mud, yep. they wallow down in the, to their den. They got a den. Okay. They stay in that den while it's below 55 degrees. They'll come out and lay on the bank. You can see a few trees where they fell during the storm. Yeah. It's against the law to cut a cypress tree, dead or alive, in Mississippi. This is very educational and a great way to spend a couple of hours. I highly recommend doing this at least once in Mississippi. How many babies do they have at a time? They average between 25 and 50. Uh, they're eggs, right? They're right, eggs. eggs. Right. I have seen them. Have, I know of one nest that had 138 eggs in it. That was two years ago, a tropical storm uh, buried. Wow. If that, if that nest goes underwater, the eggs drown. What about caimans? Caymans are in the Central America, Dominican Republic, Haiti, right. places like that. They're a type of crocodile. There's only one type of alligator. After the swamp boat ride, Sam introduced us to Laverne, one of the wild and free alligators that hang around. Come here, girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that's an adult female. She's about 12 years old. Uh, she just started nesting up. Uh, they'll start nesting at eight years old. So they'll start having eggs about eight years old? But they don't get it down past for a couple of years. And how long does a female have eggs? How many years? The rest of her life. The rest of their lives. And they can live in their 70s. Yeah. Laurie was given a rare opportunity, the chance to walk around the pen that the public doesn't see. The alligator got eaten? Yeah, this is the parts of a dead gator. See this right here? Now you got the, the hubs going down the tail? Yeah. Those are called skewers. Oh, wow. Nothing goes to waste here. Yeah. They take care of each other one way or another. Still a little chilly for them right now. OK. Once the more that sun gets up, the more they'll get up on the banks. Okay. And then going around the fence, that to keep the gators in, it's actually help keep some of the wind off of them. Okay. They don't like the wind. They can't regulate their temperature, so they rely on the sunshine. The sunshine, yes. Yeah. They could either put mud on their backs, or they could face towards the sun and open their mouths, and the sun hits their tongue, and that helps warm them up also. Okay. Oh, I saw one with his mouth open in yeah. the sunlight. It's called regulating your body temperature. It's kind of like red dog pants. Okay. Well, I just wanted to see how you tended to and maintained, and I knew you had a lot of damage from this past storm, and you were checking things out, make sure that there wasn't any damage done to the back side of the well, pens here. I'm going around there, and like I said, if you feel free, free like you want to walk out on your own, just okay. be careful as you walk down through there. Okay. And you ain't gonna worry about them gators. Alrighty. It's way too cold for them. Uh, I hear you. Well, thank you very much for bringing me out. 
So as you can see, there's plenty of room in that pen, but they all seem to like to congregate right near the building. Hmm, maybe it's because they like seeing the Taurus as much as we like seeing them. This is Michelle and Laurie from the Gulf Coast Gator Ranch.